One of the biggest challenges that California's coastline faces today is the loss of our kelp forests. Instead of healthy, vibrant kelp forests, we have what are called urchin barrens. It's basically barren of anything else other than these purple sea urchins. In Monterey, we have a massive kelp deforestation due to all of these urchins that are in the system that kind of was triggered by a marine heat wave and other stressors to this environment. Our effort here is to remove the urchins uh, from the system so that the kelp can survive because it's being eaten by these urchins. This widespread loss of kelp forests on the West Coast is a new issue that we're really just beginning to understand. So our hope here is that you know, we can learn lessons that we can apply to many sites and restore kelp, not just at Tanker's Reef, not just in Monterey, but all up and down the West Coast. Underwater, we placed a grid, like a chessboard almost, right? And we popped it right into the worst part of the urchin barren there. And we're systematically, square by square, clearing all those urchins out. What we're doing here in Monterey is trying to support the community and their efforts to bring their kelp forest back to life. We have a volunteer program. We train divers to do this. Anybody who's a scuba diver can take a specialty class and be a part of the solution here. There's about 150 divers involved in this, and we've called half a million urchins and about 1,100 dives now on the project. Reef Check is here as well, and doing the monitoring and uh, Fish and Wildlife and the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary also uh, are involved in doing the monitoring. essential that we do this in a scientific way, that we learn from this and that we are confident of the outcome. It's this really unique combination of science groups, local diving groups, and sort of surf culture coming together for the greater good of the ocean. What I think is important about us making eco boards here is getting people to think about how they live, how they're involved in the community and the environment through something that generally gets people more excited than anything. If you're going to be an ocean goer and enjoy that natural resource, it's your responsibility to like try to be a steward in whatever way you can. There's something really unique about this project and it's that it's being driven by volunteers, what we're calling citizen scientists. They're the ones who've actually come together and said, this project, this ecosystem, this place is critically important to us. So we're going to come together to make this thing work. This kind of community effort is what we need. We need ocean stewardship. This is a 100-year project. This is not going away. We're not going to clear this area and pat ourselves on the back and say, oh, yeah, we did it. This is something that is the new way of the ocean. Right?